Hi everyone, Basil Chapman. This is the Tiger Financial News Network, 11 a.m. market update. The Dow is down 313 at 35,581. It had a high of 35,800 today. It had a low of 35,284. 300 points lower than where it is right now. 300 points? Yeah, 300 points. And now you've got the candles, Chapman Wave Roman candle, but the day is young. We're not even, what, is it an hour and a half into the day? Anything can happen. It's options expiration. They've already got the downside. They've already got the counter trend to the upside. The last hour is going to be really crucial. If the Dow uh, in the last hour is still down more than, say, 275, then you're probably going to get a weak close. But And, and the S&P, which is down, let me just do the S&P right now. SPX, there we go. The S&P is trading at uh, 4653, uh, up down 15. It hit the 50 period moving average this morning. It went all the way down to 4600. It's now at 4652, 52 points higher. And look, if you can't get overly bearish, even though there's the, the Chapman Wave arch formation right here, uh, you can't get overly bearish if you you have a containment area where you start to see some of the really oversold Nasdaq stocks help uh, and and S and P stocks help the market, and some of the new ones like the Microsofts taking a bit of a breather and Apple. So this is very important. How it closes is very important. If it closes about 46.62, means next week can be choppy sideways without maybe breaking down. And if it closes below four. 46 goes back to the 4620s. That's really ugly. Uh, you're looking at the QQQ. It's the same sort of story there, except the chart pattern's a little different in that you've got uh, it's making lower lows and lower highs, but it hasn't taken out the 378 low. It's at 387 right now, up 69 cents after a very weak opening. Also, good, just digesting gains. We'll treat it this way just for the moment. IWM Russell 2000, that's much weaker, but the candle today is good. But it's really not good. It's it's really gold that we're looking at. Gold is finding a place right now. It's up seven at eighteen oh six. I I suspect that it's it's in play for this particular. I don't think this is the big move in gold. There there you need a financial crisis. The XLF has to really tumble. Uh, this is just more a safety factor. So it's it's a good play. I think having gone all the way to eighteen fifteen today is really good. If next week it starts to trade above eighteen twenty two, that is really good. And crude oil, crude oil is just trading uh, kind of sideways here. And the TLT is going to be a factor next week, and that is uh, up at this point up one thirty three. So yields are coming down a little bit. Stay tuned for Larry Pizzavento. You've got great programming here. Don't forget Tiger. The Tiger Dollar program at the front page of TFN. Wonderful savings. Have a